Hello and welcome to this short grammar presentation looking at this and that, these and those. And these four words are called demonstratives and this is a English grammar review. So before we start we need to think how and why do we use this and that, these and those. Well, demonstratives show where something is in relation to a speaker. And they can be used to refer to physical distance or psychological distance or psychological closeness. So what things are near and far, physically or as we comprehend them, as we see them. Before you start, something very important to understand about this and that, these and those. We need to understand singular and plural. Singular is when we talk about a singular item, one, and plural is when we have more than one. As the picture show, one ball, singular, many balls, plural. And it's important to remember that. So when we have a singular item, we use the words this and that. This is my rabbit. That is my puppy. And the difference is this is when something is close or feels close and that when something is far or feels far. These and those we use with plural nouns. So when we have many, more than one. So these are my mice. Look at those butterflies. So these when it's close and those when it's further away. This, that, these, those. As you see, it's important to remember singular and plural. Singular, this, that, plural, these, those. And here are some more examples. This hotel is very expensive. Do you like those shoes. These apples look tasty. That is a nice restaurant. Which shoes do you like? These or those? Who's that? And you can see with the arrows whether something is near or far. Some more examples. We use that when we talk about something that has happened. I'm sorry, I forgot to call you. That's all right. That means I forgot to call you. That's all right. He was in an accident. Oh no, that's terrible. That's refers to the accident, something that has happened. More examples. That can also be used for what somebody has just said. You're the new teacher, aren't you? Yes, that's all right. And so what we have here is the new teacher. That's the thing that's been said. It's going to rain this afternoon. Yes, that's what I heard too. That's referring to the person saying it's going to rain. So we use that when we refer to something that someone has just said. Okay, I hope that all makes sense. And now it's your turn. So if you can write down number one to number 10, and then I have some sentences for you to choose how to complete these sentences, whether you use this or that or these or those. So if you've written number one to number 10, here we go. So add the correct words, this or that, these or those. And remember, this and that refers to a singular item, these and those plural. Okay, and if you've, when you finish that, you can check out the answers which are in the bottom 
description of this video on YouTube. So check down in the description, you'll see the answer to those 10 questions. I hope you found this video useful. I hope you now understand how to use this and that, these and those. If you have enjoyed the video, if it's useful, please click like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you and be sure to subscribe to the Teacher's Notes YouTube channel. Thank you.